good night. How is it going, you sexy beats? My name is Sexton, and we are back with OB51 patch preview. And this is a pretty big patch, so let's just jump right in it and get started. Um, so right off the bat, they just announced there's going to be a new match lobby, so as soon as you log into the game, as soon as you are picking your characters, you will see your character in a 3D mode. Also, you will see your whole group's champions as well, so you'll see their skins, um, you'll see your skins, um, very just kind of, uh, a nice little tweak to the game that I think needed it. Next, um, so since the colossal chests are gone, they are uh, introducing what's called the champion skin chest and the weapon skin chest. Um, basically, these are just taking the place of the colossal chest um, individually, though. So one is obviously meant for the skins, one is obviously meant for the weapons. Um, but what's unique about the the skin chest is that it will give you only one item. But that one item is going to be a full set. So say you get um, Dreadhunter Drogo's uh, skin and you'll get his head. You won't get his weapon, but you'll get his skin and you will get his uh, voice pack too. So you get all of that and then you have to go over to the weapon skin chest to get uh, the weapons if you want. Or if you're just looking for just the weapon, you can uh, definitely search in there. and it'll be, Again, it'll only give you one now, but um, it should just give you the set that you want now. Uh, moving on to some uh, skins they announced. The first one is the Barrack Stone Cut skin, which looks freaking crazy. Kind of, kind of on path with like a like a Inara. It looks like to me. He's kind of getting that kind of Inara skin. Um, looks really really good. Also, they have the Pip Pandemonium skin. Uh, Pip already has like twelve skins already, so they're just adding on to that. It's like a red red panda skin. It looks really really cool. Um, Moving on, they also announced it's called an uncommon tier. So they have uh, common, rare, legendary, and epic skins. So now they're um, introducing what's called an uncommon tier. So those uncommon tiers are gonna, how you have recolors, they're gonna kind of change not just your primary color. So, like with Ceres, you would just change like the hood from uh purplish to like green or or to red and now it's going to change like not just the primary color but everything uh, completely different um so that's going to be an uncommon tier also uh they just announced that they're going to be doing community skins so uh if you have skins that you guys have drawn up or designed please send those in uh there will be a vote i think it, she said next week and um, the winner, they're going to make a skin for those, which is absolutely awesome. I'm super stoked for them doing that. And again, like I said, there's lots of stuff in this patch, guys. Huge thing. They said this is coming for a long, long time. Mastery skins are finally here. And it's not just mastery skins, but we'll, we'll start with that first. So the first one's called the Obsidian Skin, which is kind of like a galaxy type, uh, type skin. It's like all those... It's kind of like black or gray um, kind of galaxy with the stars in it. And you can reach that when you character reaches level 10. And then you have the cosmic skins, which is like more vibrant, kind of the more purples, kind of like what you think of like Maeve, that kind of color, but like that into your your skin. And they kind of got the blue in there. And again, it's all galaxy type. You get that at character level 15. They also have uh, specific NVP poses, sprays, and emotes. And what's really, really cool about the emotes and the sprays is that they actually update with your level. So if you become level 15 and you go from 15 to 16, that emote will move from when you place it down. It'll say level 15, Lex, or whatever. Um, when you go to level 16, it will change from level 15 to 16, which is really, really cool. This isn't for every character right now. Um, I don't know why they didn't, but they only got it for Drogos, May. Victor, Torval, and Lex for right now, but definitely uh, look out for them if you play those guys and wait for the next batch that comes probably in OB52. Um, let's, I know you're all, all pretty much waiting. Uh, may as well just jump right into the new champion. Champions called Ash, um, the War Machine, and she is freaking nuts. So uh, let's start with her left click. Her left click is basically just this big cannon, almost kind of like Makoa. Um, it you shoot as a blast damage, though. This is the first type of 
front line other than Fernando that's actually blast damage. So you shoot out blast damage, dealing 400 um, for kind of like, I guess, your direct shot. Um, and then the fall off damage for obviously a blast damage. Um, her right mouse button is called Connect Burst. Um, which you charge up your left mouse button and you hit for 300 damage, but you apply a huge knockback. So if there's people on point, you just charge this up and blast them away. Um, this is kind of like uh, Drogos's right click, I think it is, um, where you charge up all your shots. So you don't just click right click and it'll do it. You kind of right click and it will hold that shot for you. Um, and then moving on to her Q, which is called Advancing Shield, which... Um, which is basically what it, it's called. You you drop a shield and it slowly creeps forward, um, slowly and slowly for seven seconds. Um, there's also a legendary card that makes this kind of slow down because when you pop it down right now, it actually moves kind of fast and maybe your team doesn't want to go that fast. So there's a legendary card that actually slows that down. So that's uh, definitely neat and a new kind of um, shield for, uh, for her. And then her F, which is probably one of her coolest abilities, is called Shoulder Blast, which you charge into people dealing a huge knockback again. So this girl seems to be all about kind of like the knockbacks and pushing people around, um, which is definitely kind of fits into her character style. So uh, you can kind of combo that with your with your right mouse button. So you can like charge up your right mouse button, shoulder bash into them, they'll go flying, and then you can hit them again with, with your right mouse button, and they'll go flying off again. So again, just causing a huge, huge knockback. Um, getting into her alt, which is called Assert Dominance, which you plant a flag into the ground, dealing damage and making uh, your dam or making you sorry damage immune for eight seconds uh, when you're beside your flag. So it basically acts kind of like a Fernando type deal. Uh, the thing is that she is not CC immune in this, so you can hook her out or you can disengage her out of her aura, I guess you could say, and kill her. Um, this only applies to her though, it does not apply to like your whole team, which obviously that would be really, really OP. Um, but yeah, so that makes her immune for, like I said, 8 seconds, which is very, very good. Uh, moving on to her legendary cards, I did not catch the names of the legendary cards, but I did catch what they did. So uh, the first one um, allows you to stun enemies when ulting and increasing damage for your whole team by 25%. So uh, when you crash down or you uh, push down your alt, your flag, um, it actually stuns people for two seconds on uh, the point or where you plant your flag. And again, your whole team is uh, gets a damage increase by 25%. Her next legendary card um, makes her CC immune and 90% damage reduction for the duration of her shoulder dash. So she doesn't really have a kind of a getaway, even though this shoulder dash, um, you do kind of charge, this is probably one of the biggest charges. Uh, it's just at the beginning of your shoulder bash, you kind of have to charge it up. I think it's for like a second. And in that time, you're very, very vulnerable. So this um, this legendary card makes it so that you pretty much don't just die when you're trying to get away. Moving on to her last legendary card, um, which makes the shield slower and it just gives it 3,000 more health to the shield. So um, it's, it just won't advance as fast and kind of gives it a bit more control so that your, your team doesn't have to just like run right in. Uh, moving into some balances, uh, starting off with Andro. Andro increasing recharge dash from one second, um, a dash. So um, it will now take an extra second per dash. Uh, you have to wait for his legendary card though. Um, it's not on his whole kit, it's just the uh, dash legendary card. Also, Power of the Abyss is going to be now 20, 40, 60, 80 percent instead of um, it was the equivalent was up to 100 percent. So uh, just a slight uh, bit of adjustment there for his cards and his legendaries. Uh, Drogos Fuselage, I've been saying this my whole streams forever, um, is going from 50 percent down to 35 percent. Uh, direct damage per shots, which I think needed that a whole lot because 50% on a on um, a weapon that already did a huge amount of damage is just a lot. Um, also, his booster reduces uh, recharge by 17%. So uh, it just pretty much just that means it's just you're going to be on the ground 17% longer before your actual boosters are fully recharged. Um, Inara, her mother's grace uh, no longer 
um, gives you a debuff immunity. Instead, it's going to give you a CC immunity. Um, so when you had that debuff immunity, it would make it so that no cauterize would affect you, and that was very, very overpowered. So instead, to kind of counteract that, they, um, with her um, Earthering Guard ability, so just the basic ability, not the Mother's Grace Legendary card, just the basic Earthen Guard ability now increases self healing by 60%. So you pop that down, you're going to get a lot of self healing very, very quickly. So that is very nice. Um, also, 40% uh, slowed uh, when shooting now. So you can't pretty much play Flank and Ara like I've noticed a lot of people were doing. So you can't really do that. Uh, Knessa, Steady Aim is uh, her Steady Aim Legendary card is going from. Five seconds to seven seconds between shots, so you would have to normally wait, or you could have only waited five seconds to get that extra 30% um, damage. Now you can wait seven seconds between each shot, which again is is nice because you know you had a lot of stuff going on at the time when you're playing Knesset. And five seconds sometimes wasn't enough to get that uh, second fully charged shot off. Uh, Ruckus Hexafire now acts as an in-hand weapon, so what that means is. Um, Hexafire will now apply Cauterize and Wrecker. It used to not, um, now that will. Ceres, um, I thought they were going to completely like nerf the hell out of her, but they didn't. Um, all they did was reduce um, the charge rate to her ult while dealing damage. So when you're playing Ceres, you can actually charge your ult up pretty dang fast when you're doing damage. So they kind of lowered how much charge ult you can get while dealing like damage which again is good she's a she's a healer and she should be getting most of her charge off of healing um willow uh, her health is going from 2000 to 2200 and her blast flower is getting bonus damage increase the blast flower is one of her legendary cards also her other legendary card scorn um reduces the fuse time by 25 percent for her um her little spike balls also um, in her alt she will no longer consume ammo so she can use her alt and just blast away at you guys it doesn't have to reload um, which again is super nice because willow isn't quite viable like she you can play her it's just she wasn't quite there yet so i'm glad to see that they bumped her up just a little bit um, and last thing is there is a new mount called the scarlet charger which is kind of like uh, a war mount is basically what it is. It kind of fits right in with Ash. Um, so it looks really, really cool. And I, I really, really like it. Other than that, guys, that will basically do it. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like down below. Also, if you haven't, don't forget to punch that subscribe button in the face. I will be live streaming this as soon as it comes out. So maybe in the next hour, uh, take a look and I'll probably be live streaming. Anyways, guys, hope you have a great, fantastic weekend. And I'll see you guys in the room. Stay awesome.